All right, this is an N-Scale Atlas RS1 that I have installed sound into using ESU Lope Sound 5 DCC Micro Decoder with a Next18 interface wire 8 by 12 millimeter sugar cube speaker with sound chamber and this was originally a non DCC frame and it originally had a split light board in it one small one in the front one small in the rear I wired the decoder up through the track pickup through the uh, contact strips as you can see right here uh, the red wire is soldered to the brass contact strip and the black is soldered on the other side on a contact strip I did some milling on the frame the frame has two it has nubs that sticks up on both ends of the frame I didn't cut them all the way off but I milled it down far enough to where the sugar cube speaker and the decoder fit underneath the body shell low enough that it would clear I milled it down to where it was level with the uh, brass bearing retainers on both ends. I used a milling tool off of an end of a Dremel drill. I guess right here is the tool that I used to mill the frame with. Um, two of those mill bits come in a package. Usually can find them at a Dremel drill aisle where they sell the Dremel drill attachments. And that's where I bought this from. And, uh, I use this type of method like this back and forth and up and down to mill the frames out on both ends. The sugar cube sound chamber had a lot of uh, plastic extra material on the bottom sides of it, so I milled it down even further so it would set shorter. So it would set lower in the uh, frame. The lights I used 603 style lights on both ends, one there, one there, and they uh, both come off of a resistor. I use one resistor for both lights. The body shell was a factory painted pin central. I did have to uh, mill out the body shell on the underside on both sides of the shell on, on the long hood and the short hood so it would fit down over the sugar cube speaker and the uh, decoder. Um, as the RS1, the body shell, long hood, short hood is pretty narrow. So in order for this shell to fit down over the decoder and the speaker had to be milled out on the sides. I had to mill out some across the top too on, on the bottom side so that it would fit low enough onto the frame to where it would look the way it's supposed to. All right, I'm gonna get the body shell back on the frame and we'll get it on the track and see what it, it sounds like. 